we got pretty much uh, the whole kit cut out. Um, the only thing I still have to make is um, these two inch round cones for the top and bottom of the neck. You know, so when it's up here, it'll be on the bottom, one on top upside down so we can crush the, uh, the neck and center it up. Um, probably make them tomorrow, but yeah, these plates came out pretty good. I'm happy the way they came out. We got the uh, billet blocks here for these lower frame supports. So I'm probably gonna call it a night, and then uh, you know tomorrow we'll get on the uh, these two cones for the main neck, and then it's time uh, we can assemble it. All right, got quite a bit done since the last time I picked up the camera. Um, just kind of got in a workflow, and I just didn't really think about picking it up and uh, filming. But um, yeah, this is the entire kit. Nuts, bolts, screws, neck cones. Um, all the plates are here. That will uh, mount to all these posts. Um, all the posts are welded, squared and everything. Everything's been drilled, tapped. So what we can do is, uh, now I'll get this thing up on a tripod and uh, We'll start assembling this kit. Alright. So all you're going to need for this kit is uh, two three-quarter inch wrenches, nine sixteenths wrench, and nine sixteenths socket, an eight millimeter Allen key, and a uh, six millimeter Allen key. So with those, we don't need these right now. So, um... We'll start with the rear wheel uh, plates. So this is indicators for um, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, 25, 30, 35, 45, all the way up to 90. Not that you'd ever need 90. Um, I just continued it so, um, to allow this to go straight up to get it out of the way. Um, this way it's not sticking out, poking. Um, depends on where you guys keep it. But that's what those are. There's a little indicator right there
So you have the option to use either or. Um, I made these, so if you're uh, putting a bike in that has the bearing races in it, um, that you don't score them up. It's a plastic soft. You can lay into it, get it nice and tight. Um, so like a sports or if you're cutting the rear end off and you're going to just do just a subframe. Um, these Delrons are great for that. Uh, we can put this side. Uh, next. These are back supports. Uh, I'm almost set. Yeah, they sit something like this. Um, you'll see further in the kit. But um, these are to support the rear subframe. We're using these brackets. Here's the back post for the rear wheel. This is the rear section. This is uh, more or less done. Everything is still loose. Um, once we get the whole kit together, we'll uh, finalize and tighten everything down. All right, here's the main neck for the neck post and the uh, support for the lower down tubes, which is right here. We'll get that one first. snugged up there so this is done here okay next we'll uh, set the legs up These uh, lower frame rail supports, these slide on here. So the indicator lines slide up to these indicator lines. And it's, um, so the inside line's a four inch, then it's four and a half, five, five and a half, and et cetera, and all the way out. So, uh, they're a good helping points. Um, to get you set up into the ballpark of where you want to be at. So it's not a big guessing game and a tape measure and everything. So uh, we got the uh, plates put in here. We'll get these screwed down. It's a 8 millimeter Allen key. So all you have to do is just loosen it up a little bit. You can slide wherever you want. Lock it down. And then put your frame rails in. And then when you're happy with it, Put these top caps on and lock them in place and they're not going anywhere. center post the main backbone just gonna loosen these up a little yeah, 
it's finished. So uh, now we can get this main uh, supports and uh, get this whole thing put together.